This goes out to the dancers, to the moshers, to the skankers, and to the stage divers. I took a nap today. Gorilla Biscuits are the forefathers of both the Hoodie Goon and Camo Soldier factions in the current timeline. Both guilds have similar play styles that equally suit ground and aerial attacks. It is not rare that both clubs use teamwork and fusion strats to increase their chances of dominance in the pit. However, both play styles overall average is nerfed by a staggeringly low intelligence point. Their only saving grace from being a totally trash tier slammer is an absolutely broken charisma stat. Slammers who choose to slam in these styles carry the identical special abilities of unity, loyalty, and a max positive mental attitude stat. When fused together, these factions create an absolutely unfair pit destroyer. Alchemizing hoodie and camo skills will give you a slammer that is basically playing on easy mode with all the cheats activated. It brings their average up to an unbeatable beastly 97%. It is important to note that the cargo crew and the camo soldiers are one and the same. They just wear different colors based on their rank in the organization. It's been over 30 years since Gorilla Biscuits ushered in hoodie goons and camo soldiers. So let's take a look at a 2016 set to see how well these factions are holding up. Will we see any brazen slammers utilize outlawed fusion dance techniques? What up, Slam fans? I'm Dan Frampton. Let's hit the pit and find out. Right away, we're met by Alabama Jordan. Tope Con Hero. 180 Coffin Drop by Fried Beef. Then he joins his tag team partner, Dried Beef. It's Dried Beef and Fried Beef. Huge twist to Tope Con Hello. Front flip Tope Driver. Beautiful Hesitation Hadwar. Shooting Star Press by Dark Cargo Soldier. Now low tier players, people that are weak, people that don't have a ton of power stats, they're going to often go with a little bit of weapons, a little bit of outside force. They're going to use their crafting ability to come up with a little bit of a vest. Here's a spiky punk delivering more damage than he normally would. Yo, I didn't know your dad could slam. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a vegan straight edge Superman. Everybody check your phones. There's a weather warning because Hurricane Dwayne is coming through. Then we get a little bit of crisscross tag team action as they deliver a couple Topecon hypos. This set is filled from front to back with a whole bunch of chants, a whole bunch of trains, and I couldn't go through every single one of them, but here is one of them for example. It's very, very physical. And Hurricane Dwayne just owns the crap out of it. You'll love to see a starfish roll like this. Huh, ah, perfection. This is Trio's beauty. Absolute poetry. Beefy plancha! Followed by a lengthy plancha. So far, no sight of any hoodie goons. A little bit disappointed. It looks like the camo soldiers have staked their claim on this pit. Oh my god, it's Sarah Soda Sarah! Alabama Jordan with the Topic on Hero! Sarah Soda Sarah fires back! Followed by a twisted blister! Flying Tyler! A stunning starfish roll! Hungry for sushi all of a sudden. We get an athletic bunny hop all the way to Never Never Land when we meet Peter Pants! Alabama Jordan, headwalk number one! Junior Mints. Now 
you know when you see footage of any music festival, you always get the girl on the shoulders, you know? That's what I'm calling this dude. This guy is Festival Girl. And then more trios action. Such poetry. Then Hurricane Dwayne hits a huge combo. They used to come out to the truck Because it's all coming back Hurricane Dwayne in HD Back home More Hurricane Dwayne Alabama Jordan with a head walk number two Hurricane Dwayne gets some mic time Then some air time The huge tope consenton Check out this beefy corkscrew here comes Alabama Jordan with his third headwalk of the evening. Going for the hat trick, are ya? This is just so insane. I can't keep up with all the action. We're gonna have to go down to the pit for some play-by-play. -play. Oh my god, thank you so much. It is nuts to butts down here. Salamander Sally comes up from behind. The stage is just filling up with slammers. Oh my god, it's a, it's a mass exodus of slammers as everybody dives off. Is that, is that, yes that is, Hurricane Dwayne is out of nowhere with his crew and the stage just fills up again as everybody is just like stomping and stomping and two-stepping and stomping. We get a massive con hero, that means with a twist, as Hurricane Dwayne is like a mosh pit legend out here. Is this Tom Petty? Is this Bob Dylan? Is this a hero Smith? No, nobody knows, but everybody's just going so wild. It is so hyped down here right now. It is a fat ass atmosphere. There is so much crew participation as the song winds down. What a night. What a thrill. Pure action. Dynamic matchup from front to end. No hoodie goon scene. Everybody was too smart for that tonight. There was so much pit integrity. True warriors, true slammers. Hurricane Dwayne obviously wins for the night as we get word from the judges that it was a unanimous vote that he's moving on to the championship battle at the end of the year. Congratulations to him and congratulations to his crew for this huge monumental victory here at the Gorilla Biscuit 2016 set. Okay, that was crazy. A lot of really creative moves from the slammers out there tonight. And as we heard, Hurricane Dwayne is the winner for the night, and he is the second name in the championship raffle. So now we got White Meat and Hurricane Dwayne moving on to the finals. If you enjoyed that episode, watch more Pit Pros right here. Mm -hmm.